jumps down there and only breaks his legs, he won't kill himself. I know. So that's how we got a, another police van turned up to the uh, to the scene. And good morning, welcome back to a, a brand new video. So today we're gonna have a, a bit of a look in Blackpool once again. Just see if anything uh, has changed, um, if we've missed something in the previous videos and what's going on. So today it's, uh, it's a little bit windy, not too bad. There's no rain, which is, uh, which is great. So yeah, let's get right into the video and uh, see what's going on. So we're just near North Pier now, we've got the, uh, the police out. So I think something's gone on, so I'm gonna have a, a bit of a walk up and just uh, see what's going on. So we're just near North Pier and uh, you can see the amount of police cars what has, uh, what's turned up, so I'm not too sure at the moment what has happened. So uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll establish some facts, but yeah, it's always, uh, it's always, something, in, uh, always something in Blackpool. There's, uh, there's quite a few, so it looks like it's possibly um, something, maybe someone's gone overboard or something, so uh, they're, all, uh, they're all looking over at the sea. So you see the... Uh, and there's concerns on the faces so we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of a walk down just see uh, what's been going on so you can see the amount of uh, police presence and what the story is what I can gathered off uh, many thanks to Blackpool and beyond uh, so you haven't seen his channel I'll pop a link in but there's a guy I'm just gonna zoom in now but there's a guy over there and apparently he's running through town with uh, something in his pocket so uh, they've got him surrounded, so I'm not too sure what his next move is going to be. But, uh, yeah, you can see the, uh, the amount of police presence at the moment, so it could turn into a bit, of a, a bit of a nasty situation. So I think at the moment he's probably sort of uh, possibly intoxicated with alcohol and drugs, and uh, he's getting a bit, a bit sort of hyperactive at the moment. Um, but you can see there's uh, a lot of people now uh, coming down. Uh, and just uh, having a bit of a look what's happening. So this is uh, this is just near North Pier. Um, and it's like shouting his demands and having a, a bit of a rave. So at the moment, I'd imagine they're waiting for uh, possibly somebody who can come and talk to him, talk him down. So here we go, you've got police right down. So there must be probably that's what, in excess of 15 uh, police vans. Um, at the area, so you can see he's, uh, he's on the wall now. Yeah, just a, a bit for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to pop you in? <laughs> I know. Is he just visiting? Are you? Just visiting. What do you think of Blackpool so far? Oh, I know. He's changed on it over the years. Oh, excellent. Um, <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> so that was uh, lovely to meet a couple of a uh, couple of uh, nice people, and uh, as you could gather, they said Blackpool has sadly gone down downhill a little bit. But I mean, there is a lot of a uh, lot of things going on in Blackpool. So uh, fingers crossed the uh, the comeback and enjoy it a bit later on. Of course, of course, thank you. So I've just been uh, told to be back a little bit. And so, uh, yeah, I think they're just letting him frustrate his anger um, before the uh, possibly uh, tries to encourage him down. So you see there's a policeman just behind the skip. And he's, he's now gone on the wall, which is uh, there, so I know he's uh, he's dragging it out, but um, but yeah, just thought we'd, uh, keep on this one because it could uh, it could end uh, two ways. So you see now uh, the whole area is is being cordoned off, and uh, the police are in uh, 
still talking. You see the uh, cordon has gone right, right down there. So yeah, I think it's still raving. So I don't think they're going to risk it because they're a bit of a, a bit of a drop. Uh, the tide is out. So if the tide was in, it wouldn't be too bad because he had the uh, lifeboats and life crew to uh, to grab him out. You see, he's uh, he's sort of t taking his uh, his sort of clothing off, and you see he's got like a possibly a, a plaster on his leg, so he must be a maybe a possibly vulnerable person. I'm not too sure, so I won't uh, I won't film it at the moment. I uh, just keep him out the uh, out of the picture. You see, the uh, police presence is still here, and the time is uh, 25 past one. So I'd imagine this could go on for uh, quite a while. Um, just pop round. So he's uh, he's still uh, he's still having his uh, his rant and expression, his concerns. The police have now pushed the cordon right the way back uh, to the Metropole, uh, into that second green shelter over there. So this is the uh, the probably the closest. Uh, we'll get you see the uh, there's more and more police presence coming. And uh, it doesn't look like there's uh, any sort of reasoning or talking with the with the gentleman in question. So they've completely cleared the uh, the area off. So we've just got the uh, ambulance turned up now, um, just opposite the uh, the North Pier, and the uh, the amount of police uh, just for for one person is incredible. I mean. Whether it's a, a waste of services, that's down to uh, to your opinion. But there's got to be sort of 15 police cars for for one person. So again, we're just at a bit of a different angle now, and uh, we can see there's a door there to the uh, bar and lounge near the North Pier, and that is uh, sort of pops onto where he's uh, where he's based. Uh, I'm just gonna. Sure this police car is going back is he going under so yeah he's just going under so he can move out of the way second but there is a door and um, where they can actually get to him but uh, i don't think they'll uh, take any chances because he's right on the uh, right on the edge so we've been here for approximately about an hour now there's been no really uh, change or development so i think what we're going to do we're going to probably end the video there because it will be uh, going on for for quite some time this one um so i'll uh i'm gonna pop this on just to uh let everybody know what's going on um i'd imagine they've uh, heard about this various forms of uh, the media um so uh like i said what it was um it, it, as far as we can we can tell it's a, a bit of a runner um the police didn't catch him in time apparently um, he threw something out of his coat pocket, I'm not too sure what that was, uh, but the gentleman in question, it looks like he's, um, he's sort of possibly intoxicated on, on drugs, he's certainly been uh, raving for the last hour and a half, and uh, let's have a quick check at the time, it's now 2pm and he's still, uh, he's still carrying on, so I think the police are just uh, biding the time. Um, and just uh, see how this one pans out so yeah we'll end the video there if there's any updates um, i'll pop that one on as well so until next time take care of yourselves and it's uh, bye from me